Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage, and this will be my Titanfall beta first impressions. Now, as you can see here, for some reason when you go to uh, pilot loadouts or titan loadouts, there's no custom slots. But when you actually get into the game, there is custom slots. So, I'm not too sure what's going on there, because you can't actually create a sort of loadout while you're waiting for the game to load. Now, I don't know what what's going to happen when you get in-game once you've unlocked the custom slots and it takes a while to load. So I'm just going to outline some of the PC specific issues that I've found with Titanfall Beta. Now I'm sure that this stuff will get fixed by the time the game is launched but it's just issues that I don't really think should have been there to begin with. Now one that I'd like to point out is V-Sync. V-Sync has double buffered and triple buffered Double buffered doesn't really lag as much as triple buffering in this game, but it still lags. Now, the only reason, or the only way that I can actually play the game without lag is with VSync off. Now, I like to play games with VSync and have a stable 60 frames per second. That's just how I like to play my games. So, when I can't actually do that, it makes it really annoying for me to have to deal with. Now, I also tried to turn off in-game VSync and turn on the VSync in NVIDIA control panel. However, that resulted in the exact same effect. So, why is this an issue? Well, I'm not getting a stable frame, frame rate. I decided to turn off in-game anti-aliasing and use FXAA. FXAA does a really good job, and I've stated that in several other videos. So. Why is the game lagging with VSync? Well, I can't actually answer that question. Now, a few things that I would like to talk about with the gameplay involves the free running. Now, in the trailers and stuff like that, with uh, uh, the actual official trailers for the gameplay and with people that actually played the game post launch and stuff like that, saying that the free running was, uh, you know, fluid and all this sort of stuff. Well, I don't really think it is in certain circumstances where. Just before, you saw me try to get up on a ledge and it wouldn't actually grab it. Which, in Titanfall, is a very big part of the game where free running is a major part. You know, to get over obstacles. When I can't actually do that very well or easily, it gets quite annoying. Now, I, I had to play a few games to actually understand Titanfall. I will actually go ahead and say that. And on top of that, I'm not getting endorsed by EA or uh, Respawn Entertainment or whatever it is, Respawn something. But uh, just, I would just like to point that out. But at the same time, there's a few guns and uh, in-game sort of features that I would like to point out as well that I find either overpowered or just underpowered in general. Now. The shotgun, I find that really good, like it's not overpowered to the point where it's ridiculous, but it's pretty much a one-shot kill, which I prefer, you know, a shotgun to actually have, because most games don't allow that. The pistol, however, is actually pretty strong if you actually hit them, and a few times I do miss, and I notice that there are so many minions on this in this game that you find yourself killing a lot more minions than you do actual players. Now, I've heard hard eight times actually point that out and I completely agree in that sense like if I'm playing a multiplayer game I shouldn't be killing AI most of the time I should be killing players am I wrong now how I think that they could fix this is by adding two minions per team rather than whatever amount they seem to have I think they have like six or something that's what it feels like to me anyway because every time I'm killing people it's always minions and there's always a lot of minions around me Therefore, I'm killing them more than the players, which is just uh, baffling to me because it's it's supposed to be a multiplayer game. Sure, it's 6v6, but at the same time, I could still be killing players if there wasn't as many minions, and the minions are very fucking stupid. Now, the Titans, Respawn Entertainment, or whoever they are, I forgot what their actual name is, but Respawn said that the Titans were easy to kill and whatnot, but... I personally disagree with that. The Titans are very, very powerful and will kill you in one shot. Depending on the weapon that they have. Most of them have like the rockets and whatnot, what I'm using. Now, th that's not a problem. They're mechs. Like, they should be able to kill you in one shot. But when you're an actual mech as well, and you can't kill them because their shield is overpowered, that's ridiculous. Now, as you saw in this little clip here, that 
I was actually shooting them a lot, but yet the shield was actually hindering me from killing them. Now this guy right here, as you can see, I'm using the anti sort of titan uh, grenade launcher, whatever you want to call it, that shoots like a, a million rounds per second. It's doing absolutely fuck all, and when you uh, when the guy kills me, you can see his shield barely going down at all, and I reloaded twice. Now, <laughs> sorry, but that's not easy. That's not an easy way to kill someone, right? Now, I, I hope that they do look at this and go, well, okay, well, shields will be easier to take or easier to destroy, because I just don't understand. Like, shields are shields, yeah? You know, in most games, they try to make shields not overpowered and, you know, a few bullets to take them out. Or a few rockets, at least, to take them out. And in this game, it just doesn't work that way. I, don't, I just can't understand why. Now, as you can see here, I'm doing the exact same thing, shooting him with the anti-Titan uh, grenade launcher or whatever. Still does absolutely nothing. And, I don't know, I, I just don't really feel this game as being a... Call it, or a game better than Call of Duty or Battlefield or just any sort of multiplayer shooter because I don't really feel the need for the minions and I don't really see why they're even in there because they're dumb as all hell anyway so just do us all a favor and remove them from the game or at least add two per squad or sorry two per team to limit the oh I'm killing minions over and over again because that isn't a good thing and I'm, I'm not really enjoying that as a player and a beta tester so if I'm not enjoying playing your game and as you can see here I'm trying to fucking jump up there when it's not actually working so a few things that I found were kind of retarded with the uh, the free run mechanic and also uh, the damage per uh, you know the guns and stuff like that and at the end of the round once you die at this epilogue stage there's about 30 to 40 seconds before your the actual game ends so the game is still actually going but it hasn't actually ended yet well technically it has right the game has ended you can't respawn but the enemy team can still kill you and respawn I think because like why why is this a thing why do I have to wait 40 seconds extra for the game to end and then to actually leave the match or make the game finish I have to arrive at this sort of ship that will fly me away and the, f the ship actually just stays in one spot it doesn't hover around to try and actually stay alive it just stays in one spot as you can see here where all these titans are just pegging you know rockets at it just before it flies away like if any futuristic sort of civilization was in this situation they wouldn't just sit in one position it's just it baffles me to see that now as you can see here the custom pilot and custom uh, Titan slots are there but as you saw before they weren't in the menu or the sort of lobby screen like I couldn't actually create a custom slot now I'm not too sure whether that's because I haven't unlocked them yet but if I can see them in game, why can't I see them during the menu? And I, can I actually create a loadout during that lobby screen? Or do I actually have to go in the game? Because if I go in the game, wouldn't that just make it make me not be able to create my own loadout? I, I'm not really sure what's going on, and I don't know if that's a thing. Like, whether you can create your own loadout in-game. I haven't really gotten to that stage yet, because I'm still... Like level 4. I believe I've been playing for about half an hour to 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So, I still haven't figured out how to throw grenades yet, right? <laughs> like, the buttons, I well, I tried holding gr uh, G for grenade, but that didn't work. I'm not too sure what the button is for grenade, so I don't even know if I have grenades. There's a lot of things that I haven't actually grasped upon within Titanfall, but I just don't really like the gameplay it just feels really weird now I'm not complaining because of the minions I'm just complaining because I just don't really like it and the fact that most of my kills are in fact killing minions really takes away the experience of actually playing a multiplayer game it feels like I'm playing against bots now 
that's a massive issue when you're trying to play a multiplayer game and you're not even actually killing players, you're killing bots. When I'm wasting most of the game killing bots, that's just more annoying. I don't I don't see how having bots in the game actually benefits anybody other than, you know, adding bots to fill in player slots. That's just what it looks like, and that's basically what it is to fill up extra space within the map. Now, I don't really care what anyone says about the minions. I think they're useless and pointless to even be in the game. I would prefer to have 8v8 over fucking minions at all, but if they had to put minions in, please give us 8v8 at least and then have one or two minions per team. Or have the minions spawn near the titans. Like have one or two minions around the titan when it spawns. Because I I just don't like killing minions. Like I I, I just don't like feel, like I just don't care. If I'm killing minions, it feels like I'm playing a bot mode. I've said that countless times in this video alone. So wh why would this beta make me want to purchase this game? Well, at this stage, I don't really feel like playing this game. I don't want to buy this game. I don't really feel like I want to play it. But the only reason why I'm playing it is because it's a beta. I would like to give my feedback for a game that is in beta, and I would like to give my feedback to, you know, help them. And as you saw there, I was using that uh, anti-titan sort of grenade launcher, and there's no splash damage when you actually shoot objects or in-game assets. Which, as you, as you saw in, the, in this video, resulted in me not getting a kill. Now, another thing that kind of annoys me is that the titans can't jump. Because it, I don't know, it just kind of, it's really weird. You get in situations like this where you think you should be able to jump over your opponent, or at least hover over your opponent to try and kill them. But that's not the case in Titanfall, you can't actually jump as far as I'm aware. So, would this justify a purchase? Well, no. As you can see here, my crosshair is nowhere near the uh, barricade that's in front of me. And my gun was slightly over the barricade, yet the bullets hit the barricade. I, I just feel like there's a lot of work that needs to go into this game to make it even remotely worthy of my time. Now I'm not saying that as a you know c a complete PC elitist by any stretch of the imagination because I I'm sure that this experience will be mutual against you know the Xbox One and PC experiences. So I personally won't be buying this game if I get a review copy or you know a review sample of some kind. You know, sure, I'll give my review on it and say my personal opinions and stuff like that, like I am in this video. But I just don't feel like that I would want to play this game. Like, the Titans are just way overpowered, even with a fucking Titan. Like, that, I don't know if that's a shield, what that guy was doing, that, like, uh, sort of feature, I guess, that you can sort of stop incoming bullets and then fire them upon other players. I'm not too sure if that's a shield, but it looks like it's acting as a type of shield. I don't know, guys. I don't even know how I just went invisible just then. I really don't know. <laughs> like, there's a mutual, uh, sorry, not mutual, a mandatory sort of tutorial level that you actually have to play before you start. Now, I would prefer the tutorial be an in-game sort of explanation of in-game features, like how uh, how to use special abilities, how to use certain weapons, and all this sort of stuff, rather than going through a tutorial level. Because tutorial levels in only multiplayer games feel kind of stupid. Now, sure, I could take out a Titan like this, but then once they get out, they can actually take me out, as you can see here. He took me out doing that. Now, I thought that once you get on the Titan, you can kill it instantly. That wasn't the case. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing on that Titan. It just looked like I was grabbing it. Now, this epilogue scene right here, I think is kind of useless. I don't see the point in it. Um, like, sure, it's just another sort of 40 seconds for the game to actually keep going. But the game is officially ended. Now, I would prefer this dropship to, you know, move around and actually sort of try to avoid incoming attacks, but it doesn't do that. Now, I personally don't justify Titanfall as a purchase for myself, 
But anyway guys, my name is Rampage. I hope you have enjoyed my first impressions. Now leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Peace out.